family. They had a son named Doxy. He's a good boy, honest and kind. Father's back. Please sit back and let me get some water. It won't stop raining these days. The rice crop's ruined. The harvest season's around the corner. But looking at the paddy field, all the grain's submerged in water. I'm so upset. At least I was able to pick some rice. We've almost run out of rice. This amount of rice is only enough for two more meals. Yeah, I know. I'll go to the neighboring village tomorrow to see if anyone will hire me. Let me go catch some fish and shrimp. I can also exchange some rice, Mother. Poor you, Doxy. If only our family were in a better situation, I could let you go to school. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry, it's not that hard work. You know, I have to help you a little bit. I've caught quite a lot. Let me try to get a little more to bring to the old woman. Did you bring fish for me again? Why don't you take some home to your parents? No problem. There's a lot of fish in the basket. I just brought here a little. You are sweating. You must be exhausted. Come in and rest for a while. Grandma, please sit on the porch, lest you fall. I also have to fence the vegetable garden. Otherwise, the neighbor's chickens will come in and scratch it up. Thank you so much, Doxy. Do you know that you always bring me such a lot of joy? I'm old, disabled, and alone. I genuinely do not know who to rely on. Luckily, you're always around to help me. Grandma, don't be sad. I'll come here every day to make you happy. Let me fix the fence of the vegetable garden for you. Otherwise, the chickens will scratch it up. Out of palm leaf plates? Let me help you. Thank you so much, Doxy. Please help me pick up the plates from the ground. They're still so young they can't help. Aunt, be careful not to fall. Doxy, you're such a good boy. Everyone be like Doxy. Always help others. Brother Doxy, please make a trap for us to catch the birds. I will, I will, but now I have to go home to help my mother cook first. Tomorrow, I'll do it when you come over. You okay, sir? I'm just passing by here. I don't have money left. It's already been a few days and I've had nothing in my stomach. So, let me take you to my house. I only have some porridge at home. But there's some dry firewood for you to heat up. You'll probably feel less tired. Let's eat some porridge. After a while, you can borrow some of my father's clothes. Your clothes are still wet. I must have disrupted you, too. Your family was not doing well. And you still help with rice and clothes. It's so heartwarming. You can rest assured that you stay at my house for a few more days to rest. Although my family's poor, if we can help others, it would be a good thing. That's right, sir. Don't be afraid to stay here. Tomorrow, I'll make you a walking stick so that you can walk more easily. Oh, you have a kind heart, everyone. We'll not forget your kindness. Wake up, Doxy. Don't leave, Mum. Doxy. This strange disease I've never seen before. I'm afraid the boy isn't gonna make it. Wake up, wake up, Doxy. You are so kind, obedient, and faithful. Why is your fate so miserable? Oh, Doxy, you're such a kind and hard-working boy. Please, oh please, save the boy's life. Please do not be too sad. Doxy is gone, but the boy's loving heart will live on forever. Are you the passerby old man the day before? I will bring Doxy's body back to heaven, but everyone will see Doxy's heart will live forever with us. How wonderfully pleasant the fragrance is. 
let us call this lovely fruit Doxygola, after the kind heart of our Doxy, the lovely boy. From time to time, people call it mango, in Malaysian meaning kwa kwa. It is a sweet, fragrant fruit, symbolizing the kind and loving heart of Doxy, the young boy who will remain in the world forever. Puck Saloy and the Wild Boar Once upon a time in Brunei, on the Butia River, a man named Puck Saloy was on his way to cut wood. Time to eat. Wow, it looks so good. Wow, I'm full. I'm so full, I'll just leave it here for the moment. To go back to the boat to get the axe. Are these boars? This is great! I'm gonna bring this wild boar home to raise. It'll soon give birth to a herd of piglets. Hey, Paxiloy, what do you have in the basket? Uh, uh, a wild boar! Congratulations! <laughs> I don't have to worry about it getting sick. Soon the piglets will grow. I can bring them to the market to sell for a sum of money to repair the house while still keeping this boy. What a profit! Paxiloy, what do you have in the basket? A uh, wild boar. Oh, what a bargain! Paxiloy, what do you have in the basket? A uh, wild boar! Paxiloy, what do you have in the basket? A uh, wild boar! This is a wild boar. Why are they asking that so much? If it wakes up, there'll be nothing left. Baxaloy, what do you have in the basket? It's a wild boar. Why do you keep asking so much about it? I lost my wild boar. I was so careful, but just because of one moment of carelessness, everything's gone down the drain. Hmm. 